chin strap penguin colony, but conditions were bad, so I'm back to bed. Currently uh, sailing in towards Deception Island, uh, which is uh, an active volcanic caldera. A little bit concerning. Actually, no, it's not. What's the chance of it erupting, eh? Knock on shipwood. Hanging outside. Uh, when I got to the island, my phone was wet with seawater from the wet boat ride, so I couldn't take a picture, and I can't even through the porthole. Everybody, <laughs> everybody is so wet. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I was on this volcanic beach. Sorry, technical difficulties. Camera did not work. Wet with seawater, but there are some whaling structures that were abandoned in the 1960s uh, due to eruption. Corruption, maybe? Desolation Island. Very, very cool. There's also a number of fur seals lounging around on the beach. Whalers Bay was first occupied in the 1820s as a base for hunting fur seals. Later, it became a whaling station. Entire carcasses were processed. The blubber was turned into high-quality lamp oil after the whales were placed into huge pressure cookers. The tanks that are still standing today make up the most significant whaling remains in the Antarctic regions. And the station was eventually abandoned after a slump in whale oil prices. It was a little bit haunting to walk around in such a creepy abandoned place. Those poor whales. We have rough seas and we're not even inside the Drake Passage. And so many people are seasick. I took a pill. And so I was able to eat dinner, but it's, the ship is moving all super crazy. And so all I want to do is lie down. Hey guys, look at this thing. Can you see this thing? That is a patch because I'm in the Drake Passage. All morning I was in bed feeling bleh. And so I got the patch um, just before lunch. It took three hours to take effect. Now I'm feeling okay, but the waves have been like, Wah! and I didn't throw up. Two roommates, they threw up last night. Ugh. Now I'm returning my rental coat and my boots. Uh, we are very happy to have their boots back. These were made for Antarctic walking, and that's just what they're gonna do. More of which we'll touch on in a lecture tomorrow. And um, <clears throat> on this trip, excuse me, we had the fortunate. Uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> Good morning from the room. It's another day of crazy waves. Sorry, it's so wet. Uh, 
burgers for lunch today. Look back to South America. So when we started, we went straight down here through all these little islandy places and then back up towards the shore. Came down here. First stop, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Really it's big. And then, no, can't do it. Bye bye, go home. It was between 1826 and 1830. And this other person. Where are they now? Yeah, now they're gone. Hello, <laughs> the lecture. We saw jumping dolphins, but I did not get them on camera fast enough. Hello. 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 Colombia. <laughs> Woo! What a cue, mi amor. Salud. <laughs> Salud. Famous last words. Oh my goodness, back to South America. <laughs> so, 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 South America. This is an Irish bar, but it was closed. Now we're trying a different bar. And we are in La Vera and I have a Beagle Golden Ale. This is a shout out to Lala. Lala, thank you very much for being a new Patreon supporter. Lala, cheers! Cheers! Oh the Colombian peaks. Come to Antarctica! Yeah, and shout out to Colombia. I love Colombia. Shout out to Colombia also. Two and one. Cheers. Cheers. 12.30. We're coming back to the ship after one beer. The captain's ship. Europa. It's like a tall sailing ship. Would not want to be in the Drake Passage in that. I would die. That's a good time right there. 